Um, I know that was a worry for you kind of going into this, coming out of finals week. Uh, did you kind of get the same sense that those types of things weren't where they needed to be? You know, I thought I thought we had a good week of prep. I really did. I thought our guys uh, went out there with a great approach and had good practices, had a great shoot around this morning, very similar, I thought, to what we had against Purdue. I thought we'd come out and play with great energy, uh, but for whatever reason, we didn't. And, you know, sometimes in life, you get exactly what you deserve. And that's what happened uh, with this game. We let them come out and get confident early uh, because our lack of defensive energy and intensity, uh, exactly what we did uh, against Purdue, come out with the right mentality. So, you know, to, to have this type of effort is uh, it's very disappointing. It's very discouraging uh, to come out here after, I thought, turn the corner a little bit. And, you know, by the time we decided it was time to play, it was too late. And, you know, we just we couldn't c quite climb over the hump. We could not get that lead. We missed a couple easy ones, a couple bunnies, a couple finishes right there at the rim. They'd come down, hit a three or make a tough shot. And that's what happens when you don't come out with the right approach. And, you know, it's uh, something where we got to get more consistent. We have to get way more consistent in that area. You know, what I saw in the last two games is in the huddles, guys talking uh, about adjustments, talking about things we need to do, what we need to continue to do, uh, what we need to do better. Tonight, it was just silent and guys looking at the floor in bad body language. And, you know, this game, the basketball gods work in a funny way. They, you know, if you don't go out there and play the right way and play with the right approach, uh, they get you, and that's what happened tonight. I, I wouldn't put it on one player, Coach, but did you look to Cam in those situations at all, or should you look to Cam? Well, I, uh, Cam's Cam's done a nice job with that. Uh, Hanif is is probably the guy that's our best vocal leader, and he should be. He's you know in his uh, grad transfer year, um, you know. But again, w by the time we started doing that, it was too late. You know, you got to have that early in the game. And when you come out and you don't close out to the shooters the way you need to, you allow the guys that uh, have to bounce it, shoot it. And you get, you know, again, that's where those guys get their confidence going. Uh, you know, when we had our pick and roll coverage, you know, about four or five times, uh, we pushed them the wrong way. And that's a communication error and a communication gap. And, you know, again, I, I've seen growth in that area. Uh, but we took a step back tonight. So, you know, all we can do now is look forward and, uh, you know, we're going to have tough competitive practices when we get back um, and hopefully become a more consistent team. But, you know, it's, uh, it's very disappointing. I, you know, our crowd was phenomenal tonight. Would have loved to have this last game before the break, uh, give them a win, uh, and we didn't do it. So, you know, we're going to get back to work when we get back and, uh, and get after it and hopefully, uh, hopefully carry that over to the floor. You guys were trying to capitalize inside. Is that was that the game plan, or is that just kind of what ended up happening? Well, we wanted to attack. We we, th we thought we could get into the paint. Um, you know, you look at our percentages. We shot, I think, almost forty eight percent from the floor and uh, forty three from the three. Uh, didn't you know? wasn't great from the line. Um, you know, kind of the story for for our group. But you know, this wasn't lost on the offensive end. You know, we just didn't come out with the right defensive intensity, and uh, and you have to have it. You know, when you go out and play, this is a very talented offensive team. We knew that. Uh, coming in, and you know, again, you got to let. You, you have to make certain players uh, put the ball on the floor, and we had short closeouts to a couple of them, and, and again, that's where they got it going, and that's where they got confident. Is it more frustrating on that you have some days off now. It's supposed to be able to get back in the gym tomorrow or the oh, next day. God, it's be... You know, a painful uh, couple days. There's no doubt about it, and uh, you know, for my family's sake, I got to try to let it go and, and try to. Uh, you know, try try to enjoy the you know what the holiday season is all about, but it's it is frustrating. It's very frustrating, and you know, it's hope it stings. I hope it hurts our guys. Uh, you know, I hope they do get enjoy, enjoy their families. They don't get enough of that. All of us in this business don't get enough of it. Um, so you know, we'll try to enjoy it. But when we get back, I mean, it's 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 go time, and we got to get back at it, and um, you know, hopefully come out and play better next week. Cam said something to the effect of guys need to look at themselves in the mirror and figure out. Who wants to play? Uh, is that kind of the message going forward? As these guys kind of step away and then get back to work here next week? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's a uh, hundred percent. You, you got to say, do you, do you, you know, do you want it? Do you want it during the? You can't only want it during the good times. You have to want it during the tough times. You have to battle through the adversity, and that's where uh, that's what the good teams do. And right now, we're too inconsistent with that.
You know, there's a very fine line, especially for a team like ours with all the new faces, and we're on the wrong side of that line a lot of times because we don't fight through that adversity well enough. Uh, so absolutely, you know, we all got to look at ourselves. I promise you I'm going to do it. I'm going to go look at it and watch this film and see what I can do better to put our guys in a position to be successful. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you got to go out there and, and dig in and grind it out, you know, when things aren't going your way. And we didn't have enough of that today. Cam's stat line was excellent. How would you characterize his play? Yeah, it was, it was excellent. I, 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 we had a lot of guys. Mate, it was good to see Mate uh, take the lid off the basket. We, we need uh, Mate to make shots. Uh, you know, we had other guys that, uh, that had very good possessions. But the overall whole, uh, we weren't good enough, obviously. Uh, and, and it cost us. You guys had some success with the zone, and then I think you guys went away from it. What was the thought of you know trying to go to zone and, and then not sticking with it? Yeah, we, we did go to the zone. It got us a couple stops, and then they had a couple possessions where they got us on it. So uh, we went back to the man, and again, we had a couple good defensive possessions. We just couldn't secure the rebound. We had two really good defense, maybe two our two best possessions of the night late in the game. One was an air ball. That's a little unlucky. One, but the other one, we didn't put a body. Uh, and they ended up getting getting the offensive rebound. So um, you know, again, I, you know, the last few possessions, I thought, again, we defended well. We just could not secure and finish the possession. That uh, okay, the, the last. Uh, what was the plan? Well, the plan was, uh, you know, to get the ball uh, to Cam and, and attack uh, the seam and attack the slot. You know, Burke got it. Uh, you know, he's he's made some big shots for us in the past. You know, sh shot looked. Uh, Look good. I thought, you know, I thought he attacked uh, the defender. Uh, but yeah, the, the the plan, the initial play was to get it to uh, to Cam and attack the slot. Thank you. Oh, did you have a general philosophy on that as far as timeouts go? Well, I called the timeout before the second free throw, and you know, drew drew the play up. So that that's what it was to uh, you know to try to set that play up. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, sports director at KRVN. Thanks for watching this video on our YouTube channel. Now, to keep up to date with all of the things we have going on in terms of sports, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is hit the little red button in the corner.